Hello, welcome to Devotions Today. I'm so glad you're joining in. If you're with me today, I want you to give me a like or a thumbs up where you're at. Um, and we're gonna be looking in the book of Acts again. We're looking at Acts 27 today. What I love about this devotional time, um, as we go through the week, you're hearing from different people and different perspectives all the time. And so because God's word is living and active in our lives, we see this differently as we read something, it becomes clear to us in our own life and what's going on in our life and God works on our heart. This chapter is is like this action-packed adventure, honestly. Like if you, I told you last week, like if you wanna have the scriptures read to you, you, you version does that I'd encourage you to have the scripture read to you because it's almost like I'm watching a movie if I listen to it and I start to picture it in my head it's like that I don't understand all the sailing things and everything that's going on in here exactly but I can imagine some of it in my head and I'm like I'm imagining this awful journey that they're trying to take and the seas are not cooperating and all this stuff and Paul tells them that they shouldn't go on <laughs> he tells them not to um, so, and then he said it's going to be disastrous and bring great loss to the ship and cargo and to our own lives also. And the centurion, he's a prisoner here, he said the centurion just doesn't listen to him. And they go on with the majority because the majority of people thought it was okay. They should go to another harbor for the winter. Um, but what Paul said was exactly what started to happen. And so everything changes very quickly here and it becomes a life-threatening thing. And what I like absolutely love about this is that even though there um, was disobedience in here from this part of the centurion where he didn't go along with what God had to say, what Paul was speaking to him, that there's redemption in the end. And I think about that piece of it in my life as I observed what happened in there and how they didn't listen to what God was saying. And then God still redeemed this and he still saved their lives. And, um, and in the end, you should, you should read all of this. But I wanna just talk about that that disobedience and that redemption. And I just think that's so, um, that's so powerful to me. It's not only a picture of our, us, our lives being redeemed, but pieces of our lives being redeemed and decisions that we make being redeemed and that God can still um, work in those situations. And so that encourages my heart today that when I make a mistake, when I even intentionally disobey God because I'm not comfortable or I'm scared or the people around me say something and, and I'm just going along with the crowd because I don't know any better, I'm going along with the majority. And then I find out, oh, I missed it, God. I missed the mark this time. And God still can redeem that in my life. And so today I'm just so thankful for that and looking for those places in my own life where um, maybe I've missed the mark that God can still redeem that in my life and in yours. So today, as you're reading through this, I want you to comment below, amen, if you, um, if this spoke to you today, if what I shared with you, you're like, yes, I get it, that, that's encouraging to me. Or if you read this and you're like, man, something really stuck out to me, I want you to share that because that encourages my heart as well. Thanks for joining me today. If you haven't subscribed to the devotions, um, do that and join us tomorrow.